So yesterday, when I started talking about the energy of currency, I had a thought in my head that I was going to have to talk about this some more because it is a new concept. It's something that I want you to really think about and hopefully it'll make a big difference in your life. When I did the preamble uh, where I said I was going to be talking about money, I asked the question then, what would you do for the sake of money? Now I know if you answer that question honestly, you're already doing it, most of you. You go to work for it. But sometimes when you get a job, you forget that the job isn't the paycheck at the end of the week. The job really is you. You create the money that they in turn pay you. So the actual currency isn't the physical money. It's you. If you can get that into your head, you'll start thinking differently about opportunities. Because you can create the opportunity that pays you what you wish to be paid if you can wrap your brain around the fact that it's up to you to do that. You're not going to go to anyone ever and they're going to see all your worth and pay you everything you think you deserve. It's not going to happen that way. And yet we go to interview after interview after interview waiting for them to hire us and give us a penance of what we think we're worth. And we'll take it and then complain about it later. I want you to start thinking that if I'm the currency, if I'm also the energy that creates the currency, then I need to have my energy level up as high as it can possibly go at all times. Because at all times, I am creating wealth. Do you get me? When you're down and out and you're telling your sad, soft story, just watch your bank account go lower and lower and lower and lower. When everything's flowing and you're feeling great about yourself and you're making everyone else's life enjoyable and you greet them and you're full of love and energy and warmth, your bank account goes up and up and up. And it goes up in ways that aren't even necessarily about the job that you're doing. It's about jobs that come to you because they see you doing such an excellent job where you are. See, we're auditioning for things all the time we are always in front of someone who has the capability to change our lives but not necessarily the incentive to change our lives because they're waiting on us to show them why they're not going to give you what you haven't shown them you can take care of you have to be a good steward of everything you've been given first and then you have to show them some kind of return on that investment. And if you're doing the right thing with the little bit of money you're making right now, everyone can see that. I always say to people, you think I make more money than I actually make. I don't make a lot of money. But I also don't have the vices and the distractions that I used to have that would decrease my value. So everything I make goes to good use. And the few times that I've made some bad decisions and invested in lower vibrating people with lower energy who were not about anything other than their selfish needs, I felt the brunt of that. And that's why I said, I can't do that anymore. I can love those people with all my heart and soul and enjoy their company even but I can't keep giving into sources that doesn't flow back. 
uh, flow out into someone else. It has to be flowing. Stop giving your resources into places where it stops cold right there. It will not pass that. And then you're like, well, man, I invested in that and I invested in that and I invested in that. You are never going to get a return on that investment. If you choose, and this is important, if you choose to give it away, then that's what you do. Just give it away and forget about it. Because that's the energy you have to attach to that gift to make sure it doesn't become a burden to you. If it was a gift that you were just going to give away and let it go out there and never come back, you can't miss that. But if you were given from this place that I know a lot of us give from where we think, I can't really afford to do this, but you know, I got to help them because if I don't, who else will? And then they don't do anything with your sacrifice. Even without the money, the energy that you're putting toward thinking about what you did and not thinking about the no return on what you did weighs on your heart and you will find it more and more difficult to trust the next one. That's where mindless giving begins to take its toll. Mindful giving is always aware of where it's going, why it's going, and what expectations you have of it. So going back to talking about the, the energy of currency, say that 10 times, the energy of currency. I can give you $5 and I can put it in your hand and hold your hand and look at you, look at you in the eye and say, God bless you, brother. Now do something special with this. Or I can just throw it on the ground and you can pick it up and not pick it up, but you know, that's how I deposited it into you. Don't you know the way you give someone something matters? Which also means the way you receive it also matters. So if you're receiving money from work that you feel like they just threw on the ground and gave to you that way, no wonder it has its problems. It's never going to be enough. You're never going to feel good about it. You're always going to be just a little vindictive toward the people who pay you that way. But the companies that pay you and they pay you with a smile and they hold your gifts in their hands and they look at you in the eye and they say, you made this project work for us. Thank you so much. That money, and it could be less than the other money, will go and keep going and keep going. I promise you this. So remember these analogies because they're important and I'm glad this is being recorded so you can go back and listen again and again because I'm going to change the way you vibrate in this world and in changing the way you vibrate I know you're going to make more money because that's the currency of this world system we live in you got to have it but when you get it you'll know oh this is not because I'm beautiful I'm special I'm even talented this is because I have put myself in a position to receive more. I'm excited about my life. I'm excited about your life. I want to be a blessing and therefore let me be a blessing. Universe, God, I can handle it. That's the mindset I want to get you into and then just watch what happens. The currency is you. The energy is also you. So what's your excuse now? What would you do for the sake of money? I don't have to do anything for the sake of money because I am that which I see. Peace.